Hi, my name is Randall Sorensen, Applications Engineer with LG Evans. I have 15 years of experience in the same shop with the last one and a half years with LG Evans. I got involved in Swiss bar fed machining because of the constant advancement in technology compared to conventional machining. Starting with just the pick of a current MITS control panel, we have mode buttons at the top which compare to a FANUC mode selector switch. What's nice about the citizen control though is you cannot change modes while a program is running, whereas on some mode selector switches, you can move it at any time, potentially crashing your machine. Below that are what I refer to as display buttons, which simply change the display you are looking at. If you have a citizen cav bar feeder, the power on button is here as well. Well, this is different from a typical FANUC control panel. It is not hard, it is just different. There are many shortcuts within the control panel when editing, for instance, shift page up or shift page down takes you to the beginning or end of the program. And the cancel button can delete entire lines of code versus individual letter addresses, which makes for fast editing. Here we have the preparation page. This has tool setting dimensions, which are like your FANUC geometry values, four being the y-axis, diameter being the x-axis, and longitude being the z-axis. There are no true geometry values that are visible to the operators. However, there is a hidden page that has the values they are tied to, the tool layout you have selected in the machining data. The highlighted feature here is just that, a picture of the tool layout you have selected. This data is tied to each and every program via the machining data and will change whenever a different program is selected. This gives you the ability to have completely different programs with completely different tool layouts and the machine will always know what is in the machine based off the program selected. In check mode, the first soft key I wanna highlight is high speed check. This allows a run through of the program with no machine movement, checking codes, arcs, machine stroke, interferences, etc. Next to that is handle mode, which proves out the program with machine movement via the pulse coder and gives you the ability to go backwards if necessary. While the access timing is not perfect, this gives you a great view of the final program machine movement. With a two spindle machine that can handle many tools, a lot is going on in a small space. To the right, we have the correct soft key, which allows edits while the program is running anywhere past the cursor that has not ran yet. In the Swiss world, there is so much going on with queuing and such, you cannot reset the program and pick up where you left off via an end search like a typical fan of control. This allows you some editing while the program is running. An auto mode is just that. It is the production mode for continuous running. It does not have the features listed above as they are specific to check mode. That is the, what makes check mode so unique. In MDI, you can perform any basic M or G codes. There are no sync or superimposition codes available here due to the amount of queuing and positioning that is needed for those modes. Highlighted in this first slide is channel one, MDI operations, along with the code list soft key that will be shown in more detail on the edit display slide. One of my favorite features is the ability to cut copy paste from a main program into MDI, which makes testing or sampling code very easy. Here's the manual mode screen, which is pretty self-explanatory. The main feature here is you get a real picture of the axis your cursor is on, as well as the feed direction for that axis. When I am training, I train operators never to guess at which axis or axis direction they are moving because of what's available here. It may just be a simple picture, but very powerful when first learning the machine. Here we have the X1 axis, which is your gang slide up and down. Next we have the Z1 axis, which is your main spindle forward and back. Next, we have the Y1 axis, which is your gang slide forward and back. X2 subspindle, Z2 subspindle, and Y2 subspindle. While a six axis machine may be intimidating, learning these new axes is as simple as going to the machine and viewing the picks and explanations that are provided. Edit display is more like a background edit than a true edit mode. As you can see at the top of the first screenshot, you can see two programs called up. The upper is the program selected to run and the lower being the program selected to edit. One of, if not the coolest feature here, is the sync display soft key. This will align all of the machining pattern and weight code so you can visualize what is happening at what times in the program. Also available in the second slide is the aforementioned code list. What is nice here is it gives you the varying letter addresses that can be added to the G codes 
with a short description of what changes for those letter addresses. In this case, we have G4 selected, which is a standard dwell command. Within the G4 command, we can use U for full seconds, so G4 U 1.0 for a one second dwell, or P for milliseconds, which would be G4 P 1000. Finally, we have eco mode, and there are two features I would like to touch on. The first being the machine's ability to regenerate power, much like regenerative braking on today's electric and hybrid vehicles. Anytime the main subspindle or a rotary tool is decelerated, the machine stores the regenerated power. It is not much, but it is something, and it is tracked via the first grab. The second feature being the machine's ability to track any and all functions of the machine. Based off a 24 hour period, the second graph shows a percentage for when the machine was in auto mode, setup, alarm state, on but no operation, and powered off. Overall, there are many features unique to the Citizen Mitsubishi Control. From something as simple as an access picture to something as complex as aligning sync codes. The Citizen Mitsubishi world is forever evolving and improving. Thank you for your time.